Hello you guys, welcome back to Nerd, and today's video is going to be my August and September reading wrap-up. Um, and in these two months, I read eight books. In August, I read three, and in September, I read five books, which I did have to say, with these couple months, they were okay reading months. Um, so, yes. Um, and really, I did have to say, I was really excited also. If any of these books are in a reading vlog, I'll have that reading vlog link in the description below so you can go and watch them in like my reactions to them while I read. So we're going to start off with the first book I read in August, and that was um, Betting on You by Lynn Painter. This one is her newer young adult book that came out last year, and I really did enjoy this book. Um, I enjoy Lynn Painter's writing. I do have to say with Lynn Painter, if you do want to get into her books... It does take a while for you to get, get into it, um, because I remember with Better Than the Movies, which I read by her, so this was my second book I read by her, Better Than the Movies was my first book, and I do have to say with that book, it took a while just to get into it, um, so I do have to say that it does take a little bit, but when you do, you love them and you cannot really put them down. Um, I did really like this book because it's was okay so let me explain the kind of the yeah all right so what happens is is bailey and charlie they meet on a plane going from canada i think to someplace in the united states i don't quite remember where they go but to some place in the united states and while they okay so their parents both so they're not siblings okay but they have no idea but they're but both of their parents kind of divorced and they meet on a plane then they after that they kind of like see each other again a little later and then a couple more years later has passed and they see each other and that's kind of when they start to kind of get to know each other because they go and do a job so it's like at this like little child's place so they have a job together and they do that and they get really um they become really great friends and they go to a trip to Colorado because um Bailey's stepdad or like the dude that her mother is dating is gonna go on to like a trip to kind of get to know them more um because they're gonna get married and um she he wants to get to know Bailey and all that stuff but um she brings Charlie along because he hates Charlie and they fake date. But then it ends up being an actual real date. Then it ends up that. But I did have to say I really did enjoy this book. I enjoy Lim Hainter. And I cannot wait because either this month or next month, the sequel to Better Than the Movies is coming out. And I am so super duper 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 excited for that book. And I cannot wait. Cannot wait. Do you have to say I love Lynn Painter? And I also love this cover. I love her covers because I just, yeah, I just love her covers. Like, look at the covers in the back. Look at this. I also do have to say I love, and this might just be because I have the Barnes exclusive one, but look at that. I love how there's people. I love the people. I also love how she does, like, a playlist for all of her so right there's a playlist for all of her books, which I love so much. To say I enjoyed it and I would recommend anything by Lynn Painter, but I would recommend this book. And I gave this book a four stars. Alright, then I read Such Charming Lives by Karen Mamanis. This one was her release for this year. I did do a reading vlog like I did on one of us is back. And I do have to say with this book, this one isn't my favorite of hers. Um, but I really did, I still enjoyed it. Um, and it was, okay. This though is my favorite cover out of all of her covers. Like I love this particular cover a lot. Um, I say, so this book is about Kate and her mom works for this girl or this person that has been that's it um who does doesn't do like the 
does illegal stuff so she steals jewels and she kind of makes it a cheaper version because she doesn't think the expensive she doesn't think that certain um jewelry needs to be expensive and then they go to this little party um and of course they meet she meets the person that was her like step brother for 48 hours and they're her stepfather as well for like 48 hours in Vegas and honestly because okay, here's the thing Kate went in with to kind of for her mother to be at this like rich party to steal this person's jewelry but the person that she was stealing is what Liam who is her stepbrother for 48 hours father was dating and well, and she's like trying to do that, but I don't think she actually does steal it. And it's not just that a lot of stuff do happen. I do have to say this one is a little bit different than her other books because it's not like, it's still like a murder mystery because there is like something that does happen, but it's not, I do have to say it is different. This is, like I said, not one of my like favorites, but it is my favorite covers, but I still gave it a point for a 4.5 stars. I love Karen Romanis. And this year, my goal is to finish off reading every single one of her books. Um, because I have two more left from her backstory. And I just love Karen Ann Romanis so much. Her books are so fast paced. I love that you're always, it's always a dull point of view book. I always love them. But what I'm also sad about this one is what she does. What I love about what she does with other books is she has like the date and the time. I don't think, I think she just has no, because she doesn't even have, like, the date or time in here, and I, I think that's really sad, and I love that little detail, um, in the book, so. Alright, the next book I read was Checkmate by Allie Hazelwood. This is my first Allie Hazelwood book, and this one is her young adult novel, if you don't know, she does have, like, adult romances, um, that hopefully when I'm older I get to read, I want to read, but this is basically about... Mallory and what was the dude's name here I kind of forgot Nolan who are okay so he she was like an ex chess player he's like the best chess player ever um he's like the top 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 with the like chess and everything um I did have to say with this book there it was very chess heavy um so I don't know if I okay here's the thing it's a romance because it is romance but there was there you didn't really get more of their like relationship you got their you got the chess aspect of it I do have to say this was still very fast-paced and I still really enjoyed it um and I do have to say I really do kind of like Halle Hazelwood for my first writing but anywho so Mallory just hasn't played chess in a while because of her dad like taught her she's like done with chess um but she goes back to it um to play and she just goes back to it and she does really well and all that stuff so yeah she does really well that's like all that i can do is like not spoil it but i do love 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 this cover so much but i gave this book a 2.75 star so it wasn't quite a three star but i still enjoyed it and it still was fast pace it's just it wasn't what i was hoping for um so yeah but if you don't want to say it i do have to say expect the chess because it's very heavy on chess and i did play some when i was younger it's just i'm not like that chess heavy so i do have to say if you love love chess this book is definitely for you and you want like a cute little romance this book is for you okay now let's go on to september so i have the kindle app on my phone and i read a couple books on that kindle app this month so it's really exciting because my dad has like prime book i read this year was the cabin by natasha preston this book was okay so i've read other another tasha preston book before and that was the lake i loved it and this one i would have to say i didn't really care that much because what happens is these friends go on a 
trip to a cabin that was someone's one of their friends is like family so they go up to the cabin and let's say they all get drugged and two of their friends dies and you kind of go through the entire book of the main character just kind of being really oblivious to everything and not wanting to believe that it was one of her friends that did it um and all that stuff and i do have to say it was okay the entire book was just them figuring it out so i do have to say the beginning of the book was interesting but then the middle got boring and then the end um kind of got into like the plot twist and all the stuff that was definitely interesting i did not guess who did it because one of my guesses um yeah no i didn't guess it at all and i do have to say originally i was going to give this book like a two-ish stars but because of the end because i didn't really guess it i bumped it up to a three star which was again it was okay and i would read more natasha Preston books i love her books a lot and i love the thriller aspect of them but for this book, I don't know if I'd recommend it. It was just kind of annoying because the, just the main character was way too oblivious. Um, and it's also kind of, but it does kind of show, actually, no, it doesn't show anything. It's just the main character is oblivious and kind of, also, I mean, before she lost two other, two, like, two other friends, she lost another two friends. So she's hasn't the best but she kind of is kind of oblivious with what is happening with her friends and stuff like that so do you have to say sometimes you want to scream at the main character all right the next book i read was legendary by stephanie garber i actually didn't read this i actually listened to this one on audiobook i do have to feel like with um these books i would have to i listened for like fantasy especially with this book i listen to them more than i actually read them because i don't feel like i grasp um the information a lot but i do have to say i loved it um i do have to say it was definitely kind of hard because i did read caraval last year and this is the second in the caraval trilogy so because i read caraval last year um i didn't read yeah it was definitely it was i didn't really un like okay i knew like the main points and what happened i just didn't remember everything that happened um but this book was definitely good i'd recommend it so this one just kind of carries on into the caraval world and the caraval games and there actually was a little bit of a part that i actually was annotated i know weird that i normally i don't annotate my books um especially if it's except if it's an ally because it, the only books that I have annotated are um if he had been with me and if only I told her love this books but this is what I annotated not everyone gets a true ending there are two types of endings because most people give up at the part of the story where things are the worst there are the situation feeling hopeless but that's when hope is no needed most only those who persevere can find their true ending um so I just annotate that part and I really do have to say like I think that quote I might kind of like well that would probably like stick with me and stuff even though it's like I mean, it's not like a literary fiction but anyway I did definitely enjoy this and I cannot wait to go on to read finale and then finally go on to once broken heart series because I really 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 want to read that book but I still love this book so much like I would recommend this book a lot oh and i gave this book a 4.5 stars all right the next book i read was the seller by natasha preston so another natasha preston book this one i do have to say it is this was a wapad sensation so if you don't like wapadi books but if you love wapi a uh, wapad books I, I i don't know if you don't like wapad maybe this book isn't for you but what this book is about is about this man who steals who kidnaps girls okay there is this man that kidnaps girls because he wants the world to be like pure um yeah he wants the world to be pure and they name he names so he took he kidnapped four kids and he names them after flowers and he 
traps them in a cellar that's seems like their home and stuff and that's where they have to stay and locked up for like ever so the main character her name is summer but her flower name and the name that he gave her was lily and he kidnapped her now one of the things i do have to say with this was he the a good chunk of the girls that he stole or he also did take girls because they weren't what he thought was pure um to and he killed them right in front of the people i do have to say if i was definitely kidnapped and someone murders like someone in front of me which by the way i would not like it but because i like watching horror movies i don't know if i like if like that would probably always come back so i'd say thanks a lot dude you you ruined my one of my favorite things for me thank you like i'd get really annoyed um but she didn't like horror movies at all but um so they would kill she would kill them and also if they fought back or anything he would kill them there was a he killed people and got away with it also they had to clean up the mess but anywho they kind of did that but a lot of the people that he kidnapped or whatever like were willing to go with him and that's what i didn't like also i mean there was a lot of charges again but anyway i definitely do have to say i enjoyed this book i did i loved it if you really want a thriller that i didn't it didn't make me feel uneasy but like it didn't did make me feel uneasy um if you just want a thriller that you just can't put down and you know are always thinking about it i would definitely recommend this book i love this book and i gave this book a four stars i enjoyed it and i would recommend this book a lot anyway yeah. also i am kind of confused because they said there was like another book in the series and that's you'll be mine um but i read the description and it doesn't seem like um that book like is in this world so i'm kind of confused now maybe because that book is also another wattpad sensation as well so i don't know but i do have to say it is a wattpad book so if you don't like wattpad then um yeah i don't know but it also is a dull point of view book which i do enjoy um and you also do get some point of views in the kidnappers point of view as well anywho then the book I, the next book i read was the final gambit by jennifer lamarns i'm really excited because i finally finished the inheritance game series again with this book and with this entire series i read every single one of the books like like in a different year because inheritance games are in 2022 then the hawthorne legacy i read in 2023 this one i read in 2024 so kind of i don't really remember everything that happened again so i do have to say with these books I need to read them. If I'm reading a series, I really need to read them like back to back to back. But anyway, this is the last book in the um, trilogy of the Inheritance Games. And this one is basically when Avery Grahams completes her one year. Um, it's kind of a lot of stuff happened and she kind of does inherit it um but then of course there couldn't be anything unsolved and of course the lovely tobas hawthorne has to go which was teenager she did all that stuff now i mean of course the games and the fun and the mysteries couldn't have been there yes but i also cannot wait because okay so last year she came out with another book which is in the series but it is the brothers book and that's the brothers hawthorne um so i can't wait to read that maybe it'll be read next year because that seems what i do with her books is read them i'm like once every year um but i do have to say i really did enjoy these books i do have to say if you want a fast-paced book what i also love about jennifer lombards is every single one of her chapters they're super short so you can fly through them like you can just like fly through them and you can read 100 200 pages in that but i do have to enjoy this and i would definitely recommend this series All right, with every single one of these books in the series, I did rate them a three stars, but it is like a four star series, so I did enjoy it. I did recommend it um, because, again, three stars isn't really like a bad rating. Um, 
But yes. All right. The last book I read was Run on Red by, I don't know how to say her name. So, Noli um, Le Hala. Um, so this one is kind of like a survivor thriller. It is a very short read book, like a short book, which I do. If you want a short read book, I would recommend this book for you. If you want like a short read, um, thriller. But what it is, is it's these two girls, Olivia and Laura, who are basically going out to a bonfire and a truck, a semi truck is like following them, tailgating them. And they kind of want to, actually I won't go in there, like they're tailgating them and all that stuff. And here's the thing about it is Olivia, who is the, she is like a, true crime junkie she loves true crime she loves it but the problem is you wouldn't she wouldn't go into the middle of nowhere without pepper spray without her phone fully charged because that was again one of the biggest issues she was like a true crime junkie it just but she couldn't really do anything also the action started on the first page but then as the story progressed it <sighs> You were interested in the beginning, and then kind of as the story progressed, you were interested. It's just for me, I kept reading it just to see kind of like the big reveal. Because I love, in these books, I really do have to say, I know a lot of people go like, oh, with thrillers and horror, like, you shouldn't really, I don't want to get connected to the characters. I don't want this long backstory. Now, I don't want the long backstory in the beginning, but if the author can like gradually do a backstory as like the book goes on and that is what I love about it like I love those types like I love that backstory um I also just kind of love getting to know like what happened in the past or like something that the characters are going to find out because again it's just one of those things am I going to root for you to live or am I going to root for you to die so I have to know I have to know um but anyway I was just kind of reading it just kind of figure out what happens in the end and all that stuff like that was the only reason why I was reading it so yeah maybe it had me hooked it's just it wasn't something that you wouldn't I don't know it wasn't really like it was a good thriller don't get me wrong it was a good thriller but it wasn't something that I would I don't know if I would I don't know if I would read another book by this author again I have no idea maybe I will maybe I won't but it's definitely just something that I think I don't know it just it's kind of difficult to explain um but I did to give this book a 2.75 star so again not like a three star but it's and then it was also by the way like I really didn't know what like there were you know how when you read a book and you think about something else and then you go back to the book and then something happened you know when you zone out so, I was doing that a lot in this book but again I would recommend it I, I don't know if I would recommend it if you want like a short paced book I don't know but anyway, that is it, and I'm really excited because spooky season is coming up, and that means I can read thrillers, which is not like I can't read thrillers in the summer. It's just I'm really excited for spooky season. I'm really excited for Halloween, and you guys are going to get a couple really great content, so stay tuned because you're going to getting a 24-hour read-a-thon. And I hope this time, because I've actually tried to do this multiple times in the past, I just have never... <clears throat> Here's the thing, when I did the readathon, because I've never like posted them, um, but I have tried to do 24 hour readathon, so hopefully, hopefully we can do a 24 hour readathon this month. Also, you guys are going to get some, fa hopefully, some fantasy book reading vlog, and then hopefully you can get a couple other things. So that is my goal. My goal also this month is to upload at least two reading vlogs this month. That's my goal is to at least upload three and yeah this month that is my goal or two um but that is it for today and i hope you guys have a good night good day wherever you are and good bye